You guys see that? All right, so this is the same game. Batman. He can pick up where he left off. Now he's enjoying it on his portable device. This video game, of course, is unlike anything that's even remotely possible today on a, on a mobile device, and now he can enjoy it with his hand on his shield. And this is being streamed at 720p, um, and, and this, is, this is the amazing thing. Now, if he's at home, if he's at home, Sean could surely stream from his PC. Excuse me, right there. Okay, that's obviously uh, something that's relatively easy for us to do. However, this is the this is the fun part. Thank you. That's that's really great. This is the fun part. What's really fun right now is that this server that he was streaming from is actually in Sofia, France. What we've shown you here is the grid virtualized GPU server with the ability to serve, of course, games to hundreds of people at a time. Game streaming all the way across the ocean, 6,000 miles across the ocean, which in the speed of light is about 30 milliseconds. So the round trip delay, when Sean hits, presses punch, the punch command goes 30 milliseconds across the ocean. It gets processed in the grid server. The frame is captured, compressed, and game streamed back 30 milliseconds later, back to the shield device. <laughs> now for it to be completely interactive, and because we can notice anything about 200 milliseconds of latency, just imagine how little time we wasted to send the commands, to go through the servers, of course, all the different hops in the routers and such, to compress, to render the frame, compress the frame, and stream it all back. Okay, so that's game streaming. 